Hey there boys and girls, I'm Sakimoto Fanboy. Let's play Iron Hender. Or rather, let's watch some story. Ah, the Great War. Yeah, man, that takes me back. Ah, the twilight of our times, and the flames of war still demanded sacrifices, nasty flames. Oh, holy land of Gesetz, which means law in German. Yeah. We're a fighting pilot. And we're on Earth. Alone. <laughs> Hence the name Einhander. No, no demo sequence for us. We're gonna play a game. And the game is called Einhander. And there's a hand in the background. Yeah, that's that makes sense. One hand, Einhander. Yeah, let's just go with Scott Saki fan, shall we? Ah, hmm. Choosing fighters. Well, I went through this last, the last episode. I just, I'll go with the Endymion FRS Mark II, which can load three gun pods, and that kicks ass. Let's go, shall we? I can choose between different weapons because I have played this game before, but I'll go with the manipulator, which is completely worthless. Have some audio. Yeah, <laughs> I like those subtitle thingies. Anyway, yeah, you just saw me waving my feet around there. That's the manipulator. It's completely worthless. Let's pick up a work. Yeah, this is a Vulcan. Now we're talking, ladies and gentlemen. Or rather, we're letting the Vulcan doing the talking for us. We're letting it do the talking for us because I can't speak English today. That's a spreader. It's worthless, at least right now. I'm going to be picking it up later. Let's head down the shaft, shall we? And see a disturbing commercial. Live? Die? Get a gas mask. Anyway, you can see me picking up gun pods right now. Now, gun pods are interesting. Different weapons, basically. I can hold three of them, and I can switch between them by pressing the L buttons. And, well, that's interesting because it makes... Yeah, it makes, makes it possible for me to switch tactics in mid-battle. Hey, did you see what I just got? S-bonus! Hey, Sakimoto fanboy, can you please tell me what an S-bonus is? Well, sure, have another one. S-bonuses are fun things. They give you points. You get those S-bonuses by doing things in the different stages. In this stage, the first S-bonus is earned by killing a lot of um, signs, neon signs that hang out from buildings. You saw me shoot those before. Yeah, hello. Gryth needs Griffin, by the way. Um, yeah, and the second one was earned by killing those red guys. So when I blasted the final one, I got an S bonus. And the third one is a kind of a bitch, but I'll I'll get it. Uh, it's earned by shooting the bottom half of this guy off, like that. Now, I'm using the Vulcan here, uh, only the Vulcan. Yeah, I like that. He just stood still there and waited for me to kill him, which is really unusual. But yeah, since the Vulcan fires downward in a, in a, at a slight, of a, a slight angle, uh, I use it because, yeah, it's well suited to the task. I've played this game before. Can you tell? I can. So, because we killed the Gryph the right way, we get to see a special little area of this stage. Notice how the camera is zooming us down now? Ah, <sighs> The old town. Has some great music too. And those guys, they are creepy. They carry weapons, and they're really hard to kill unless you use the wasp. And as you can see, I'm using the wasp right now. The wasp, well, it changes properties depending on where it is. Uh, if I, I can switch my guns around uh, to be on top or below the Einhander, as you saw me do there, or, and there. Now, if the wasp is on top, it becomes a homing missile. If it's down, uh, facing down, it's just, you know, it's a normal missile. But if it's on top, it's a homing missile, which is really good. Uh, I will be using it in different places. Different stages. 
at different times. Ooh, new music. Yeah, this is supposed to be a part of the old Autobahn, apparently. Yeah, don't don't ask me to tell you a lot about this game's story, because, you know, I, I it's a Square Enix game, surprisingly. It's a shooter and a Square Enix. Yeah, by the way, you can see the wasp doing the work there. It's, it's actually killing things in the background, too. I love that. Yeah, but it's a Square Enix game, so it's got a heavy story, but, you know, I don't really care that much about it, to be honest, so, well, I'll just leave it alone. Yeah, you can just find the story out for yourself if you want to. Hey! That's the Drache! Or Drache. We're facing a blue version of it now. We could have faced a brown version of it if we had destroyed the Gryph the wrong way by killing him and uh, shooting his head off. But now we did it the right way, got all the S bonuses, so this is the one we'll get. Uh, this one is uh, slightly tougher than the original brown one, and it also offers a special weapon. But I killed him anyway! <laughs> I didn't care much about that special weapon. I just wanted to blast this guy's head off. Yeah, he's already dead now. You can see he doesn't flash anymore. When the boss... yeah. Screech! When a boss makes that the metallic noise, it means you're hitting a critical point. So, talk to me, satellite. Receive telegram from Conduct Satellite Hyperion. Order the following operation. The armored trains were discovered leaving the city on their way to the east. Pursue them and locate the enemy supply route. Oh, indeed I shall, sexy computer lady. Yeah, you can see the game comparing me to myself now. Uh, from my previous run, but don't pay it any attention at all. So anyway, that was the first stage. The second stage, well, yeah, that'll be the next time. We'll kill a train, people! I'm Sakimoto Fanboy. See you next time!